Welcome to German History with a German accent. My name is still Wolf, W-O-L-F, just like the animal. And in this video, I'm speaking about Paul Hauser. As always, if you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. Paul Hauser was born on October 7th in the year 1880 in Brandenburg an der Havel as son of the Prussian major Kurt Hauser and his wife Anna. Paul joined the Cadet Corps in the year 1892, age 12, and joined the Prussian Army in the year 1899 in the 7th West Prussian Infantry Regiment, number 155. In March of the same year, he was promoted to the rank of second lieutenant. During the first decade of the 20th century, he attended the War Academy and was promoted to the rank of first lieutenant in the year 1909. After being commanded to the Kaiserliche Marine, the Imperial Navy of the German Reich, he was transferred into the Greater General Staff in the year 1912. The same year he married Elisabeth Gerhardt, before he was promoted to the rank of captain. During the First World War, he served both in the general staff as well as on the front lines. In the last two years of the war, he mostly served in the 109th Infantry Division. By the end of the war, he was decorated with both classes of the Iron Cross as well as the Military Merit Order of Bavaria and held the rank of Major in the General Staff. After the war had ended, Paul Hauser was part of the Grenzschutz Ost, Border Patrol East, that protected the German eastern border against the newly founded Poland. In the year 1920, Paul Hauser was taken over in the Reichswehr. Three years later, he was promoted to the rank of Lieutenant Colonel and took over command of the 3rd Battalion of the 4th Prussian Infantry Regiment. Up until the year 1932, he was promoted up to the rank of Lieutenant General when he retired from the Reichswehr. He then joined the organization Stahlhelm, steel helmet in English, a paramilitary organization close to the DNVP, the Deutsche Nationale Volkspartei, German National People's Party, which was a right-wing party in the Weimar Republic. In 1933, the Stahlhelm was absorbed by the Sturmabteilung SA, and in November 1934, Hauser joined the Schutzstaffel SS. There he played an important role in the training of SS combat personnel, which would become the Waffen SS. Weapons SS. Paul Hauser rose through the ranks quickly. By June 1939, he held the rank of SS Gruppenführer, equivalent to the rank of Lieutenant General in the Wehrmacht. When the Second World War broke out, Paul Hauser participated in the Poland campaign in the staff of the Panzerdivision Kampf. Soldiers of this group committed war crimes during the campaign. For example, they burned down synagogues as well as shooting civilians. After the campaign was completed, he established the first independent SS combat unit, the SS Verfügungsdivision, later called Das Reich. Paul Hauser led the division during the West and Balkan campaign as well as during Operation Barbarossa. In October of 1941, he was promoted to the rank of SS Obergruppenführer, General of the Waffen-SS. In the same month, he was wounded during the advance towards Moscow. When he returned to duty, he was ordered to build his SS Panzer Corps in June 1942. In the beginning of the year 1943, after the loss of Stalingrad, Hauser's corps was transferred to the southern flank on the Eastern Front, where he ignored orders of Adolf Hitler to defend the city of Kharkov up to the last man. Instead, Hauser withdrew his troops to prevent an encirclement. 
and he himself was not directly punished for this course of action. When the city was reconquered the same year, the SS Panzerkorps played a significant role. The SS units again committed war crimes both against soldiers of the Red Army as well as civilians. In the summertime of 1943, the SS Panzerkorps was transferred to Italy to disarm the Italian army and again committed war crimes against civilians. With the invasion in northern France, Hauser's corps was transferred there. In August 1944, he was promoted to the rank of SS Oberstgruppenführer, equal to the rank of Colonel General in the Wehrmacht. On August 21, 1944, Hauser was severely wounded again. A few days later, he was awarded with the swords of the Knights Cross of the Iron Cross. When he returned to duty, he took over command of Army Group Oberrhein and later Army Group G on the southern flanks on the Western Front. In the beginning of April 1945, he was relieved of his command after disagreements with Adolf Hitler. In May 1945, Paul Hauser was arrested by American troops and stayed in captivity until the year 1949. Although he held the rank equivalent to Colonel General, he was never charged with any war crimes. This could be due to the fact that while in captivity, he aided US intelligence services. Since the year 1951, he was part of the organization Hilfsgemeinschaft auf Gegenseitigkeit der Angehörigen der ehemaligen Waffen-SS, Mutual Aid Association of Former Waffen-SS Waffen Members, which was a lobby group trying to rehabilitate the Waffen-SS as an unpolitical combat unit. Paul Hauser died in Ludwigsburg on December 21st in the year 1972 at the age of 92.